Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Total War Rome 2 in our Empire Divided Palmyra series. We're going to start this battle here and um, pause the game to give our initial orders. But uh, things are um, going pretty well on the campaign map. I'm just making sure that we are happy with how things are going on the battle map as well. This is probably... Let's see, if I give that order, will you run? Yeah, I don't want you to run. I just want you to walk. I want you to march forward, save your energy. You guys come here. Same thing, please. March forward. And we're going to slowly get in position to flank them. We have cavalry set up on all three sides of this much smaller army. So this is... Don't do it. Don't you do it. Why are you doing it? We had this discussion. Hang, hang on. There is, there, is an, there is a command. I remember now. You guys might have told me in the last episode as well because I was talking about this and evidently I was wrong. There is a command to move in formation. I know it. What is it? I completely forgot it. Hmm. There, there is a way to do this. I know there is. I'm sure you guys will remind me in the comments if I can't find it in the next couple seconds, but... See, there's lots of really cool controls you can do. But there should be one to tell the units to move in formation and to keep their formation. Is it... Hang on, maybe if I give the order this way rather than the way I did before. Frustrating. Sorry. Yeah, because I was using the drag select order type. That's what it was. That's what it was. Now they are doing what they should be doing. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so... We'll speed up in just a second, but I always enjoy a good march, and we haven't really had a good one yet. Of course, this is not a huge army marching forward. It's nice to see a really cool front line, you know, with all of the army in one position. We're in a little bit more of a tactical position at the moment, so things are split up, but... Okay, yeah, now it's working properly. So I just can't use the Alt-Drag-Select, this thing, to, uh, to give those orders. Otherwise, the units will start moving on top of each other. Good to know. All right, so... We can't actually see most of what's going on in that encampment at the moment. Let's go up to speed three. We want our units in position. I think my... Skirmishers are already set up to use flaming ammo. They are. So as soon as they get in range, they will start breaking down... Not only enemy morale, but we want to break down these walls here. And as soon as we have the attention of their forces, we can charge our cavalry in here. Our melee cavalry can ride in from the back. That's the reason they're on the side, because they can sustain the most damage as a kind of a... A vanguard unit that stays in the battle and kind of stays in the thick of things to keep everyone in, in there off their toes. Okay, so it looks like shots have been fired. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Stop, 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 stop. I was wondering why you guys are moving apart. Glad I noticed that. My bad. Alright, they're, they're gonna run a little bit to get in position, but that's fine. That's what I want, that's what I want them to do. Alright, 
All right, so the hope is that they might be silly enough to actually charge out a little bit, but one thing I would like to do... Nice. Okay, yeah, this is going to be really good for morale. And by good for morale, I mean bad for morale. But good for ours. So we're not really breaking down these walls at the moment. Perfect. Okay. So when would be a good moment for the cavalry charge? All right, so here comes their cavalry. Probably now. Let's bring these guys in a little closer. All right, so they just charged a spear wall there. Let's move these guys forward. Let's have the Peltists back off. These guys seem as though they have completely left this part of the fort undefended. So we're going to charge in and say hello. So they're attacking this flank out here, interestingly enough. So we're going to have that unit circle around. I am surprised. I didn't think they were going to bring their entire army out to say hello. So this is all going to happen relatively quickly. They just threw everything they had at my first ambush force. All right, so the first cavalry are arriving. These archers are going to get torn up. Goodbye. You guys took your sweet time, didn't you? Okay, so that went a little bit less smoothly than anticipated. Let's go ahead and just get these guys out here. But these guys are going to get flanked by all sides, or on all sides, by cavalry in a second, so... Battle is still ours. Okay, so these units are breaking down over here. Melee cavalry losing. See, this is why I usually like to break those walls down, is that it creates a bottleneck here, and it makes it really hard for units to get out and do stuff. Yo, what you doing? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Stop it. Stop everything you're doing. You guys take these towers, please. Let's use some of my units to take these towers so that they stop harassing me. Well, that was much less smooth than I wanted it to be. I really was, I was thinking they would fortify at the edges of the walls and would have to charge the cavalry in. That is not at all, obviously, what happened. Are some of these units not doing anything? I feel like they're not. I feel like they're just... kind of chilling. It's mind-blowing how much you have to micro units in Total War Battles. Alright, well that's a frustratingly... Yeah, one of our units actually just got routed by the general there. That's kind of annoying. They're doing surprisingly well out here because of the extent to which they just threw their force at my... Alright, so let's let's bring some additional units into the fray. These are cavalry that could be useful in finishing things off. Let's see, shot cav. Let's see if we can get the shot cav out. Now, if we can get them back in. Good 
The general's doing remarkably well, but I think this is just because it's their last major army. So they are giving their all for this win. Which is valiant. It deserves acknowledgement. You guys, all of you need to be more involved in this battle. What are you doing? <laughs> They're just sitting there. Like, that's... I mean, I know that you can turn on AI control, but why would I even need to do that? Why wouldn't the units automatically say, Hey, I need to find someone to attack? It's crazy. Not knocking the game. I just think sometimes it gets a little gimmicky. Like, when you see a, a unit that could clearly be helping in a tight situation, uh, not helping. Yeah, they're breaking, finally. Yeah, see, these guys aren't involved either. Funny enough. Alright, so all these... Yeah, the towers are no longer a threat. That's a good thing. General's breaking. Yeah, that's it. Battle over. Thank you! Close victory. Wow, lost 491 men against his... He did pretty well against his 742. I was really not expecting him to charge out like that. That was well played. A little bit of a surprise, but I don't think we actually lost any full units, so we can recover from that and take that uh, the city of Nakamadea pretty easily now. So that's his army. Totally gone. Oh, Zabda Septimius died. We lost our general. And we can only replace him with a Latin family general. That is a real shame. I guess I'll have to be more careful charging my general in next time. I didn't even see him die. I think I've got I've got the battle assistant turned off because he's obnoxious. Maybe I need to turn him back on so I can get notifications like that. But, um, alright, well, crap, I only have this one option. Yeah, let's just do another chariot uh, general. And then this army's still around a little bit, oddly enough. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> Not a fan of how poorly that went. Let's see. Pergamum, we do still need to convert that. Totally forgot about that. Uh, I could go ahead and dismantle... It costs too much money to dismantle. 800 gold to dismantle Christian settlements. So we'll save some money for the next turn. We can go ahead and take Nicomedea right now in retribution with Zenobia's forces. And it would be, and the battle would be over. Let's do it. We're gonna attack it outright. Zenobia's pissed. You just killed her frontline general that she deliberately brought up here to help level up. I detest that man who hides one thing in the depths of his heart and speaks another. Homer. We've got some rain. Archers may not use flaming arrows. Mm, looks like we're fighting in the rain. Okay. So, no flaming arrows, but... I can walk some ladders up to... Yeah, I think we're going to attack this side. This is a nice open side here. Well, we could do it a couple ways. I could... Yeah, let's have a few ladders here. And then a few ladders here. And then these archers will move forward in a second. And then Zenobia's... Let's see, let's have some extra legionaries waiting behind the ladders, like so. And again, we'll have all of our cavalry in one group. Just waiting to come in through the gates once they're down, start the battle. So there is going to be a navy that comes in. We might have to use our cavalry to take care of them. That's all well and good. I don't have to worry about fire damage to anything this time, which is nice. If you missed that. Okay, so these two units that I just ordered to march forward, we're going to have them... Well, I just ordered them to march forward. They're trying to run because that's what units in Total War do by default for some strange reason. We are the dust of wind from the 
these archers, we will definitely have run forward so that they can harass these guys. Meanwhile, here's this uh, this garrison back here. Let's see, shot cav. Let's just have a couple of our heavy melee cavs ride over to say hello. <laughs> nice glossy surface on the ground since it's uh, since it's rainy. Always found that effect a little bit distracting. It makes the terrain look a little bit too glass-like. Surprised it's still in the game. Maybe there's a mod that takes it out. I bet there is. All right, good. Archers doing their thing. Actually doing a little bit of damage too, which is nice. Good to wear them down a little bit before we get in. All right, now we can't spend too much more time here because they're going to start firing on my units. But we're not using flaming ammunition this time, so it's not as much of a threat to the ladders. All right, need you to move. Need you to move. The ladders definitely outpaced you. Even though you don't have a ladder, you somehow managed to move. <laughs> you somehow managed to move slower. All right, archers. Back. All right, speaking of archers, let's get ready to say hello to them. Oh, hello. What are you doing? What, 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 are, what are you doing? Random cavalry unit rode out to say hello. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, we'll take care of this. I was not expecting that. At all. We're gonna flank him, though. Tried to kill Zenobia. Alright, this is gonna take a little bit of effort here. So the archers are gone. Let's go ahead and get these guys up on the wall. That was a distraction. I can't remember the last time that happened, especially in a battle this small. Random cavalry unit just deciding to... Archers, knock it off. Don't fire at will. Alright, so that cavalry's been dealt with. That was most unexpected. We await your command. For glory. Gates are gonna start falling to us pretty soon. Good. Second unit of spearmen coming up the walls right now. And let's go ahead and get the we lost a good number of Chariots. We lost four of our chariots. There's only... It looks like we've lost a ton of men here. There's only nine chariots in this particular faction, so... It's okay, but... It's just shocking. Completely caught me off guard. I was not expecting a cavalry unit to ride out. Because these archers are here, they still have complete control of the gates. There we go. Your orders? Okay. Defensive forces are breaking. They're trying to they're running away, but they're running into our units, so those units are gonna break. And we can bring the cavalry in just a second and finish this pretty quickly, honestly. I'm probably just going to ride them into the center of the city the way I did the first time, just a little bit more cautiously. We don't have a giant stairway to get massacred on this time. Alright, there it is. Cavalry are on their way in. Let's go ahead and have the archers come in as well. Not that we need them, but why not? Spearmen get down from the wall. Nice to see them splitting up like that. 
So this is Nyko Medea. All right, so they have heavy pike infantry. All right, see, so that's not really a good unit to charge cavalry against. Gonna need to be a little careful with how this goes. They are assuming what looks like... Uh, no, they were getting in formation, then they decided... Just kidding. We don't want to be in formation anymore. So... We're going to actually have our spearmen come in. This is going to be super mean, but I'm going to have my archers come in too. Have the cavalry double back. And you know what we'll have the cavalry do? Never mind. Let's have the cavalry over come over here. Just in case they're needed. The entire group. Look at this one unit. Hold the line, men. We're gonna hold Nakamadea all by ourselves. It'll work, I promise. You just have to believe. So the archers are going to be in position in a second, and they're going to start firing. Just kidding. Now they're going to start firing. Some of them are already in position, actually, so... This will be fun to watch. There might not even be a melee battle. Yeah, these guys are going to get... Oh, man. They're, they're going to get cut down by arrows alone. Oh, this is mean. Oh, this is just mean. Oh, this is... Okay, well, it doesn't even let me finish that. I wanted I wanted to actually watch them die to the last man, but oh well. I came, I saw, I conquered. Veni, Vidi, Vici. Julius Caesar, Roman general and statesman. It's been a few years since he said that. Lost 193 men. They lost 568. Nicomedia is ours. The neighboring armies have fallen. Maybe it was, you know what? Maybe the unit that charged in from the side was was this guy. I bet you that's what it was. Occupy. The Legion of the Empress has leveled up. We are now Imperium level 5. We have access to a new spy, a new dignitary, and a new champion. Lydia has been destroyed. Let's go ahead and get this guy back to Pessinus. And Nicomedia has fallen. Hang on. Yeah, we need to... I do want to go ahead and move on Ar Armenia pretty quickly, I think. I just think that would be the best thing to do. Bactria? Really? Bactria is out here in Adumatu now. I was not expecting them to show up. Bactria randomly controls this province. They control this over here, and this. Okay. That makes sense. And by makes sense, I mean it doesn't. What in the world? Okay, so now we pretty much have to fight Hispania Citerior, I think. Um, well, I mean, it's not just a matter of thinking. I mean, we definitely do. But let's see. Get some archers. Who, what else could I add to this unit here? Not much at the moment until we control more of this province. We have this army moving towards Gorama, and we could totally catch them off guard. So we'll do that. Just need to be careful because we're in the middle of the desert. And that generally can lead to death and other unpleasant things. Alright, so those guys are healing up. Zenobia's army is healing up. We completely control this side of the Turkish Peninsula. And Armenia, by the way, when I talk about them, that's just this territory here, including the province of Armenia, which is completely controlled by them. So the Latin rebels will be dealt with. We can probably sweep in this way and take care of them pretty rapidly. Um, then we'll have to deal with... 
some factions we haven't dealt with before. We'll be bordering uh, Bosporu. Can we trade with them now, maybe? Is there anyone else that um, we have a good relationship with that might be open? See, Gallic Rome is still not willing to trade. Part, be well. Which is surprising. It's just because they have a diplomatic penalty against us. That, that's why. It's that they, they believe they're the true Rome. We believe we're the true Rome. They don't want to trade with us. They don't want to support us. And I don't really want to do the same for them either, but I mean, it's be good money for now. So, tell you what, let's, um, we got our new Imperium level. Let's end the, oh wait, hang on. Legion of the Empress leveled up. I forgot. Let's see. We can level up one of the abilities I've already given her. We could uh, build heavy siege engines with her army, which would be nice. Or we can, let's see. One experience rank for all recruits, because they're a veteran army. See, that sounds nice. Extra melee attack for all infantry units and extra melee defense. Indomitable infantry. See, that seems good too. Yeah, let's do Indomitable Infantry. That's a good base setting set of skills. And I'm going to end the turn. And before I end this episode, I'm going to look around and see what else I might be able to accomplish with the money I'm earning now. I also need to hire more dignitaries and spies. No, no defensive alliance for you, man. You are about to lose some territory to me. You just don't know it yet. So we're going to go with go to war with them next. Consolidate authority. Nice. We've completed a technological advancement. Haven't paid attention to research in a couple of episodes. To deal with the rat infestation, there are several options. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do the rat catchers because that worked really well last time. We definitely need to, before anything else, convert these cities. I've been putting that off and that needs to happen. All right. Serene can be upgraded. Actually, I think all of our cities can be upgraded now. Yeah, they can. See? <laughs> We have lots to do. All right, so we finished our first tier. Oh, no, we're working on governance. That's right. So we have this, which gives us access to those to the next level of not only looks like the town centers, but also the, um, the government centers, which is nice. Extra sanitation for all regions. Cost 800 per turn to research. Wow. You know what, though? I'll do it because sanitation has been an issue and we need to go ahead and get that done. So this will also improve taxes when we finish researching this tree. So we need to keep moving on that. Okay, so first things first, whatever we can do in our capital province, we will do. And that was most of our money, actually. Alia Capitolina, because we did away with that Christian settlement. We could do a religious gathering, which would provide public order, growth and sanitation. So let's do that. Mm, or we could do an aqueduct. Yeah, let's just do an aqueduct for now. I don't know. What would what would be better? Yeah, see, this could eventually become a Mithraic community, which which would provide much more. And see, this gives wealth from entertainment. That seems much more Roman to me. Yeah, I think I like the religious gathering a little bit more. So we'll do that. Still have a little bit of money. Let's see what else we can do. Extra public order per turn. All provinces if we upgrade this now. That's nice. Even better if we upgrade the snail vats in Tyros. Also, I do need to keep breaking down Christian buildings. Kind of feels like Eternal Empire again, honestly. Um, but it costs money to do it, so do I want to do it now, is the question, or do I want to wait? Let's see, Nicomedia, I do need another library. Let's absolutely do that, without question. And then Rodos, let's go ahead and do Herding Ground. Now, Agila, looks like can go ahead and... So this would create Mithraic cultural influence, but a lot of food, growth, and sanitation per turn. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and, and up the Mithraic influence. We'll be less Latin, but we're Palmyra. We're not Latin. Um, I don't want to upgrade that. I think that's pretty much it. So we're at the 30 minute mark. I don't normally record for this long. Africa has an encouraged populace. That's nice. So their public order is improving. Uh, but I will go ahead and stop this one here. In the next one, we are probably going to go to war with um, Hispania Citerior, as well as Armenia. It looks like um, Medea now controls Amasea, which is unfortunate. So we are going to have to do a couple of different wars at once, probably. And Medea is actually right on the other side of Armenia. So we might have a pretty big war brewing here. And also, I completely forgot, actually, tell you what, I'm not going to end this episode yet because I would like to undo some of the purchases I just made. Hang on. Hold that thought. Right now, we have diplomats in our two most... Yeah, Judea is the next one. So, let's go ahead and recruit a new dignitary. Faustus Liberius Agrippa, you're up. And we'll have him start to tax that province more in the next episode and also can i recruit another spy yet do i have enough money no i don't it costs a lot but we can also recruit another champion which can of course help us train some of our armies down here so that's quite nice uh, we have a very very powerful army for instance right here the vanquishers of the east which does not have a champion with it so we could train a champion in Aguila, send him that direction and help that army get more experience faster um, or we could do it with zenobia's chosen doesn't matter but um Anyway, I will go ahead and stop this one here, and the next one, like I said, we're going to go to war probably with uh, a number of people, because we want to keep up this rate of expansion as much as we can. Let's also take a quick look at our politics before we finish. Uh, we are, it's saying we're the Palmarine Empire, which is not true, because we are a kingdom. We do need positive loyalty, though, and we currently do not have positive loyalty. It looks like, yeah, the Latin families... Their loyalty is down at the moment. They're agriculturalist, however, so food surpluses uh, will help their loyalty. Right now we have a food surplus because it's autumn. And speaking of that, we haven't looked at... Um, well, there's no unseasonal effects at the moment. But let's take a quick look around late autumn. Yeah, there are unseasonal effects. So late autumn is good, right? Yeah. Provides additional wealth from agriculture. In early autumn, what does that do? Yeah, less public order per turn, less morale for units, etc. Okay, I'll stop here. In the next one, we are going to, <laughs> yeah, have a lot of fun. Uh, we also control a good amount of territory too. So we're just gonna make sure this yellow part of the map keeps growing. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at noon Eastern time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.